2019, after several months of weekend training sessions, road trips to different dive sites, both out of state and out of country, I finally completed the Paddy Dive Master course. One of the most challenging and dreaded tasks to become a dive master was the underwater equipment exchange. This skill is required to demonstrate underwater problem solving and also build confidence and competence in the dive master candidate. This challenging task also gives the instructor a chance to assess the trainee's ability to assist a distressed diver in an emergency. Our instructor gave us the assignment up the edge of the pool and gave us five minutes to discuss a plan, don our gear, and jump in the water. The instructions were, descend to the bottom of the pool, swap all dive equipment, swim to the top of the ramp, turn around and return to the starting point, and ascend to the surface all while sharing only one regulator. There was no time limit, just complete the task with all gear swapped. Between the two of us, my dive buddy and I determined that the best course of action would be to work our way from head to toe. We started by swapping masks, since this can be a little disorienting due to there being a brief moment of blurred visibility. After that, we would need to swap our scuba kits, BCDs and tanks, and lastly, we would exchange fins. As you can see here, this process takes time, finesse, and the ability to stay calm while being slightly starved for air. You also have to have patience with your dive buddy, so between the both of you, you can work through the problems as they come up. Now one thing that made this underwater challenge even more difficult was the fact that my dive buddy was almost a foot taller than me and he wore way bigger fins than I did. This made it extremely difficult to keep his fins on my feet. After we successfully swapped all of our gear, completed our swim to the top of the ramp, turned around and started working our way back, this is where I lost one of his fins. Not once, but twice.
I was able to successfully retrieve the lost fins both times and we made it back to our starting point. Just when I thought we were in the clear, a student from another class lost track of his surroundings and descended right on top of me. Luckily, I was able to see him in time and pushed him out of my way. I did get a bonus point for that maneuver. After watching this, I'm sure it will come as no surprise to most of you that it normally takes multiple attempts to complete this skill. For me, it took four tries, but luckily on this attempt, we completed the task and I'm glad someone captured most of it on film. Always put safety first and never give up. Keep diving, my friends.